guys welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing five epic vegetable recipes to help you get more veggies into your diet if you watch my what I eat in a week video I talked about how I like to add vegetables to the bulk of my diet to help me feel full and satisfied plus vegetables are just full of tons of vitamins and minerals that our body really needs they are truly the number one superfood so if your goal is to just get healthier or to lose some weight vegetables are going to help you tremendously this weekend starting today we also have 30 percent off all of our recipe books my let's get saucy ebook is only seven dollars for the next four days so if you need even more sauces to put on top of your vegetables definitely check that out there's over 55 vegan sauce recipes in that book from salad dressings pasta sauces vegetable toppings curries every and any kind of sauce you could possibly imagine i will leave the link in the description box for that and let's get cooking some vegetables For our garlic brussels sprouts, the first thing we're going to need is a pound of brussels sprouts and we're just going to be cutting these in half, which helps it cook a little bit better. We're going to be steaming these, but we're also going to be air frying them after, which kind of just helps bring out the flavor of the seasonings that we put on them. And I just like it better this way, but you can also just steam them if you want. So we're going to steam these for 10 minutes. And then while that's happening, we're going to be making our sauce, which we will need a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon garlic powder, and one tablespoon of coconut aminos. We can just whisk all of that together. And then once our Brussels sprouts are done, we're going to pour them into a large bowl and put our dressing over top. And then just mix all that together until the Brussels sprouts are coated with our seasoning. I like to add the... Trader Joe's everything bagel seasoning to this because I don't know the flavors just go well together and I honestly add this stuff to everything and then we're just going to air fry these in our air fryer on 360 degrees for 12 minutes and when they're done they turn out like this they are super delicious I will eat an entire pound of these just plain like this because they're so good For the next recipe, we're going to be doing the same exact thing, steaming and air frying, but this time we're going to be using asparagus, and I like to just chop the ends off. You can save the ends for soup if you want. It helps to make a really good soup stock, and then we're just going to chop the asparagus in half, throw it in our steamer again for about six or seven minutes this time because we don't want it to be super soggy or anything, and then throw that into a large bowl. We're gonna add the juice of half of a lemon, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I like to use this lemon pepper seasoning from Trader Joe's, um, but if you don't have this or you don't have a Trader Joe's, you can just add a little bit of salt. Toss all that together. We're gonna put these in the air fryer again for 12 minutes on 360 degrees, and I love these because they kind of remind me of kale chips. They get really crunchy because the asparagus is so thin, and I just like to eat these like if I'm chilling and watching Netflix and stuff like that. Next, we are going to be making spring rolls. So the first thing we want to do is shred a carrot. This is the best little handheld shredder thing that I've ever found. I use it for all my sushi vegetables that I make. And a lot of times I will just shred a bunch of carrot and cucumber and leave it in the fridge so that whenever I want to make sushi or spring rolls, I can whip these up in like five minutes flat. So you're just going to want to shred an entire carrot here. And then we're going to shred also an English cucumber. You don't want to shred the very middle of this. So you're going to want to turn the cucumber around as you go or else the inside is just super watery and it doesn't taste the best honestly I cut the inside up and give it to my dogs and then you're just going to have these perfect little cucumber and carrot noodles that we can put on the inside of our spring rolls so this is the paper that I use it's a brown rice spring roll and you're just going to want to get it wet so what I do is I put it under the sink and just get it soaking wet on both sides and then I like to add lettuce cilantro my cucumber noodles my carrot and that's what I put in mind, but you could put any other kind of vegetable in here. You could put, you know, like chopped up mango or some type of fruit. And the trick with rolling these is that you want to make sure it's pretty soft. You don't want to be rolling it when the um, rice paper is still kind of hard because then you'll just get holes in it. So wait until it's really like papery soft and then just roll it up like a burrito, but be really careful because this stuff does rip pretty easily. And then the sauce that I always dip these in is my Thai peanut sauce from my Let's Get Saucy book. I'll put the link to that down below. So so this is my favorite um, curry kind of vegetable dish. What I do is I take half a cup of coconut milk, a tablespoon of Thai red curry paste, a tablespoon of organic maple syrup, 
and then I also use a tablespoon of coconut aminos and just mix all of that together. I throw whatever kind of veggies I have on hand into a pan and then all you do is put this sauce over the top, cover it, let it cook over medium heat until your vegetables are soft. And then what I like to do at the very end to really bring out the flavor of everything is to take the lid off and let it cook until all of the moisture evaporates. And I'll eat this plain, but Derek really likes to eat it over rice. You can add like sesame seeds or whatever, um, but it's just a really, really delicious veggie dish. Lastly, we're going to be making cucumber salad. The first thing that you're going to need is one English cucumber, and we're just going to take that, chop it in half, and then put both of the halves together so we can chop them at the same time, and just slice that into small slices. You could also use a mandolin slicer for this, but I don't have one, so I just do it by hand. Once that's all sliced up, we're just going to throw our cucumbers into a large bowl. Then we're going to finely mince up one green onion and about two tablespoons of cilantro. You can just throw all of that into your bowl and then we're just going to be adding a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a tablespoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon coconut aminos or you could use a low sodium soy sauce, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ginger and then just top that off with sesame seeds, toss everything together and just let it marinate for about an hour in your fridge. This salad is phenomenal and you can basically eat the entire thing for only about 50 calories. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas for some easy vegetable dishes to add to the sides of your food or to eat in between meals. I like to eat vegetables as snacks just because these recipes are truly that delicious and I'm just so used to eating vegetables now that I eat them as snacks. Again, check out our ebook sale if you guys haven't grabbed any of our recipe books yet. The link is down in the description box and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.